I am currently in my makeshift library because we're in the process of designing what our office library is going to look like. So all of our books are right here behind me. The piles continue to grow because... I'm obsessed currently. Anyway, this video is exciting. It's technically my first book video. You may hear a little one in the background. He's sitting here eating. I thought I could film this real quick. Such is life of a mom. This video is gonna be all about romance slash fantasy books that are on my TBR. I had to rearrange because I wanted better lighting and then I had to help the little one with something. So I'm not even sure where I left off, but I'm just gonna dive right into genres that I typically read. So getting back into reading the past two years, the genres that I would typically reach for are thriller mystery type with kind of big twist endings. The bigger the twist, the better. I love like serial killer, murder mystery, that type of book. Even some with court cases involved I could really get into. And then I love kind of like romance books, cheesy stuff. Probably because I love my husband and I's story. So I think, you know, I like reading about love stories. And then here and then I could get into like some science fiction and historical fiction, specifically in the World War II. I love reading about that era. That is what I would typically reach for. On the topic of fantasy, that was always my husband's realm. He loves like science fiction fantasy type books, those two genres. And I've read a couple science fiction and fantasy that he recommended and I really loved them, but I never dove into the genre as much. Rewind to this summer, you've probably seen this all over YouTube, all over social media, but this book has kind of exploded. It's Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I read it and loved it. It's kind of in this, I wouldn't say new genre, obviously this genre does exist, but this now exploding genre of romanticy where it combines fantasy worlds, fantasy creatures, magic, politics, battles, things like that with more of like relationship building, romance, spice, tension, friendships, give you kind of, I would say like a fantasy light book because there are fantasy books that are just so deep into world building. They do have romance and stuff like that, but someone who just started picking up a fantasy book, it would probably be too much. And I think what these books are doing, these romanticy books, is getting more women involved in fantasy. I'm not saying like there aren't women who love fantasy. There are a lot of women who love fantasy. I know a lot of women who love fantasy, but I think these are aiming at women or people in general who just don't pick fantasy books. And that is what this book did for me. And I think my best friend too. Since reading this, we have kind of this EBR now and it's a ton of fantasy, romanticy, a lot of new books though. So I do want to go into like more classic fantasy books and see if there's anything I would like in that realm. Hopefully do that with my husband because he has some experience with fantasy books. I thought this video could be fun because I could share maybe a few of the books that I've read since reading this and then maybe not an extensive TBR because my TBR is long, but maybe some books that I would like to read in this fantasy, romantasy genre going forward in the next six months. Start, I'm gonna start with a few books that I've read since reading The Fourth Wing. First one is Divine Rivals. This has also been all over. I feel like all the books I'm gonna read have been like all over. And mainstream media isn't always the best. So as I'm picking out these books from mainstream media, I know to take it with a grain of salt because it depends. But with Divine Rivals, this one was very different than Fourth Wing. Less action, but the writing, oh, mwah. It was just more in depth, uh, definitely like a first book in a series you could tell because it was a lot of building up to what's to come. The ending had like a big plot twist ending for the next books coming out, but a lot of the book was kind of building relationships and building the world. And it's really good. I don't want to give too much away, but it's about two writers who are kind of rivals, divine rivals, at the newspaper they work at. and. She doesn't get the promotion so, promotion, so she decides to quit and leave and go do something else. And then it goes from there, but it is a really good story. It's got magic in it. I think the writing in this book is really good. I'm really looking forward to the second book, which comes out the day after Christmas, because I think it's gonna be epic from the setup of this book. And then, my little man is right here next to me, so if you hear him yell. Since reading Fourth Wing and Divine Rivals, I have dove in to the Akatar world. This has been all over for years. There's either a huge fan base who loves it, or I have seen some hate for it. I've seen a lot of love for it, but I have seen some hate for it. So I have... You have to let me finish this. So I have... 
I'm gonna go set him up again. I have since read the first four books in this series. So A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin, and A Court of Frost and Starlight. I am currently in the fifth book, A Court of Silver Flames, and so far so good. I'm only like, I'm, I'm gonna go put him down. I'll be right back. Okay, it's gonna take me forever to film this video. As I was saying, like taking a step back after reading these while reading them, I was obsessed. I love the world, I love the people, I love the relationships in it, if you know what I mean. And I was just absolutely obsessed. I was during reading it. But taking a step back after reading the four books, I could see, and now that my husband's reading them for me, again, that could be another future segment, I could see why people don't like it. It does seem kind of like fantasy light. Like some of the writing, especially in maybe like the spicy scenes can be a little, you know, like, is this truly amazing? I feel like she does a really good job at building the characters that you feel such a connection to the characters, but some of the writing still might not be amazing. I don't know, I could just be, I'm just gonna make like the community mad, but that's my honest opinion. I can understand why some people don't like it. To say that though, I absolutely adore this world and the character. I'm really excited to finish the fifth book, but that has is what I am currently reading and what I've read since diving into this romance world. Continuing on on my TBR. From Akatar, eventually in the next six months, I would love to read Throne of Glass and Crescent City, both series by the same author that wrote Akatar, so Sarah J. Mass. I've heard so many good things about this. I've heard Throne of Glass is actually more has more deeper writing than Akatar. like to start with Akatar to get you into fantasy and world building but throne of glass is actually more world building and less spice so i'm really excited for more of this story i hope i can get into it i'd also love to attempt to tandem read the books like i know a lot of people do and then crescent city is her most recent series which i'm very interested in there's only two out but i think the third's coming out in january so will i get all of these done by january i don't know I do kind of want to put some other books in between the series just to give me a breath of fresh air in between them. Next, I am interested in the Caravel series. And I've seen hit or miss things on this series as well. I actually have no idea what it's about. I haven't read the back of it, but I own Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. This is the same author as the Caravel series. People say actually to read the Caravel series before reading the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. There's a second one out already. Let me know what you think. Should I read the Caravel series first before diving into this? I'm not sure. That's why I have the Caravel series on here, but I also have Once Upon a Broken Heart. So these are two fantasy books that I'm really excited about. This one has kind of blown up, I think, more than the Caravel series, but Again, I heard advice that says to read the Caravel series first. So let me know if you suggest that or if you think I, sh I can just kind of go into Once Upon a Broken Heart. Another book that I recently picked up at a used bookstore is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. Heard a lot of good things about this author. I've heard mixed things about this book. I feel like every book I'm gonna say that I've heard mixed things about them. I think it's about magicians. So interested to see this kind of world where like magicians are chosen to be trained and things like that. A little different than kind of dragons or fairies, magicians. I'm just gonna add this real quick. I forgot to add this, but Fourth Wing sequel is coming out early November. So obviously that is on my TBR just because I have to see where the series goes. Another I wanna read is The Serpent and the Wings of Night, which is the Crowns of Nexia series. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but they look like this. I actually kind of want to move these up to the top of the list. I don't know why, but I feel like I've seen such good things about them and I haven't seen anything bad about them. Just from scanning like the about, I don't want to give too much details or read the about, but they seem to be about vampires maybe. And I am 100% a vampire girly. I love books about vampires. So I think what would be cool is to maybe read these around Halloween if I can fit them in. I want to read Gods and Monsters series, so the Book of Azrael. From this description, it has a lot to do with like this world and their gods and a war that is involved. Again, all of these are kind of like a spectrum of what they are about. Another book that I own is The Jassad Heir. This is about someone who escapes a massacre in a world of magic and kind of what happens when someone tracks them down. From what I read of the description, it's pretty lengthy, but I am excited for this one. Another series that I want to read is The Folk of the Air series. So The Cruel Prince is the first one of this book. These are kind of also like A Court of Thrones and Roses where they're in a fairy, immortal type realm. So I'll probably space them out from A Court of Thrones and Roses when I 
miss that series. These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. It also takes place in like a fairy realm and a girl who gets caught between kind of two courts in the fairy realm. Another series I want to read is The Powerless Trilogy. I have heard a lot of good things about this book. I definitely think this is in the romanticy category and that's what people love about it, like the relationship in this book. So very interested in that because of that dynamic. Again, I just can't wait to like dive into these relationships. It's funny because like there's a lot of out there about how they're like morally gray men and actually not that great. Like if you met these people in real life and you probably wouldn't love them, but that's okay. And then the last one I'm gonna share is the Hooked series. So the Never After series. I think this is like Peter Pan type fantasy, but maybe like fan fiction. I don't know. It's like that world and it's blowing up. All of these series are blowing up actually. I just wanna say that. If you haven't heard of them, you're probably like not on booktube that much. I just wanted to share that these are on my TBR so you can look forward to hopefully me sharing some reviews about these. When I get sick of romanticy and fantasy, I'm going to be putting different genres in between these books and things like that. But these are definitely on my fantasy TBR. I actually have a ton on my Goodreads on my TBR. So if you want to be friends with me there, that would be great. So stay tuned for some reviews on a lot of these fantasy and romantic books coming hopefully soon. Reading has just become so much fun again and I'm really excited to get back into it. Thanks for watching this and I'll see you next time.